Well, Brazilian government funding for the orchestra stipulates a commitment to commissioning new music. João Rupert is current president of the Brazilian Music Academy. He's also composer of Portuguese Letters, which is a new opera whose subject is particularly well suited to the times. <laughs> For this project, I wrote the Portuguese letters based on a 17th century book written by a nun, a Sister Mariana Alcoforado, who used to live in the convent in Alentejo, in the region of Portugal. Coincidentally, it is a one-character opera, which fits perfectly in the current situation we are living in. The work stages in a cloister. It talks about isolation, the loss of love, a loved one, and deals with this anguish that we are dealing today, you know, in the cloisters of our own minds, of our own souls. The work was premiered at the São Paulo Symphony in August with Camila Tittinger as Mariana Coforado and without public, without any audience. So it was streamed by the YouTube channel of the orchestra. And, you know, we've got a lot of views. It was fantastic. We got almost 13,000 views, much more than a full house in the São Paulo Symphony. And now it's going to be staged in Lisbon. I'm heading to Lisbon at the end of this month at the Fundação Gulbenkian. I get the sense that culture, creativity, music, dance, I get the sense all of that is rather important for Brazilians. How is everybody coping with the distance from each other? It's really tough. I think it's difficult for everyone and mainly for artists because our work is to be in touch with the audience. And the lack of audience is something that's really, really bother everyone. But, you know, uh, still, we will come back. We will need to come back to the old way, even if the broadcast, the lives will keep on going because they prove to be an outreach process that is very important too. This, this is something that composers deal with all the time, with restrictions, limitations. I remember the first operas I, I wrote, uh, people were, well, okay, you can write an opera, but you have just a trio to accompany. For what, what kind of trio? I will have a, a clarinet, a piano, and a cello. And I wrote. That's one of my, my first operas. Stravinsky used to say that from contention, the strength is born. So I think it's interesting to consider those limitations as a way to enforce creativity. Drow Reaper and his opera Portuguese Letters is at the Gobenkian Foundation in Lisbon on November 5th and 6th. You can check online for streaming details.